donc je salue euh, mon homologue de la Nouvelle Orléans, Mitch Andrieux, tous son épouse. So I welcome and, uh, Mitch Landry, the mayor of New Orleans, and his wife Cheryl. Et l'ensemble de la délégation qui nous a fait le plaisir euh, de venir euh, visiter euh, sa vieille sœur et, euh, et dans, dans le cadre d'un voyage qu'ils avaient organisé pour aller euh, en France. Je salue aussi euh, l'ensemble des représentants du monde associatif qui depuis euh, quelques mois euh, m'ont bien fait passer le message qu'il y avait euh, une opportunité à saisir à l'occasion de ce 300e anniversaire de la fondation de la Nouvelle Orléans, ce qui ne peut pas euh, laisser insensible celui qui avait écrit euh, il y a longtemps la renaissance du, du Nouvelle Orléans. Je laisse la parole à, à Mitch. Come. So I'm uh, passing the word to Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's a, it is a great honor and a privilege uh, on behalf of the people of New Orleans to be here with uh, the First Lady of New Orleans and a number of our council members, uh, Nadine Ramsey, James Gray, Susan Guidry, Judge Ernestine Gray, who is with us, uh, along with a delegation of business and community leaders uh, that have joined us Uh, on this trip to come back to our city uh, of origin. And Mayor Corre, thank you so much, uh, and the deputy mayors for entertaining us today on what I would consider to be a very historic day. Uh, we come at the invitation of the mayor uh, to begin celebrating our 300th anniversary. And we're also joined by one of the great musical families in New Orleans, the Marcellus, who are spending a little bit of time in, the, <laughs> in Orleans. Now, the classic Orleans, <laughs> it's a private joke. It's a private joke. <laughs> <laughs> classic, the classic Orléans, uh, as you know, has been around for 2,000 years. But uh, Nouvelle Orléans, uh, just 1718. And as many of you here know, in 1718, New Orleans was founded under the direction of the governor of French Louisiana, Jean Baptiste Le Mont Sur de Bienville, in honor of the region of France, Philip II, the Duke of Orléans. The city of New Orleans is of uh, Orléans, and on behalf of the people of New Orleans, we begin to celebrate our 300th anniversary. We couldn't think of a better place to do it than in the city of our origin. Uh, in 2018, we're going to celebrate our 300th anniversary, and as many of us uh, travel around the city, the mayor took us around today, uh, we walked the entire city, we drove the entire city, and it's clear and easy to see where New Orleans came from. The French influence is prevalent today in the architecture, in the history, in the food, in the music, in what we call a joie de vivre, uh, that you can, you can obviously see uh, where it came from. And Mr. Mayor, I can tell you that uh, the city looks spectacular. Um, Thank you. you may, I hope you do not take him for granted. You have a mayor of great energy, a mayor of great vision. Uh, just in the very short time that, that I have met him, um, he strikes me as a man of great energy, and someone that loves beauty uh, and understands the importance of both function and design uh, being united as one. And that is why this city of Orléans, although it's the classic city of Orléans, not only grabs its past, but is also marching very Thank fast you. into the future. And that's very obvious, Mr. Mayor, from Thank you the little bit that I've seen today. Thank you very much. Cities are always constantly changing, uh, sometimes by choice, sometimes by necessity. Mm -hmm. Hurricane Katrina uh, did a, did a uh, masterful job of almost destroying the entirety of New Orleans as the world knew it. And the council members and I were charged with the responsibility of making sure that we secured our heritage, but also built a city for the future. And like you see with the building going on in Orléans, in Nouvelle Orléans, you also see us rebuilding our schools, rebuilding our riverfront, rebuilding our port, rebuilding our entrepreneurship, and rebuilding uh, the economy. In all manners of our transit, rail transit, very similar to what you have here, and also our travel on water as well. We like you are very concerned about how you live with water and the impact of climate change on the possibilities of danger in the future. So as we continue to build the city of the future, it is so obvious the connection that we have just from the day that we've spent together. And both the mayor and I have agreed today uh, that we are going to establish uh, something that we should have done a long time ago, Mr. Mayor, a sister city relationship uh, that has existed in fact, but will exist in formality in the next couple of months 
uh, as uh, Orléans and Nouvelle Orléans sign a sister city agreement. And so I look forward uh, to reaching into the future as we have in the past with this beloved city and thank you for having us here today. And so with that, It means that you are all welcome and expected to be in Nouvelle Orleans very soon. It's a very easy press conference. Yes. Yeah. So thank you very much. It's been a great honor. Thank you. Merci. Merci.